I'm not going to finish that whole thing because we've got we've got so much <laughs> more to do today. Kia ora and welcome to Experience Bar where we're turning video games into cocktails. My name is Jack and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a drink that's just as dangerous as its namesake, the Plasma Grenade from Halo. Let's get started. To begin this drink, uh, we're actually making a drink in two parts of the Plasma Grenade. The first part is dead easy. You're going to need a Collins glass and you're going to need one ounce of rum. I'm using Appleton Estate because Appleton Estate is delicious, but you can use any aged rum that you like. Chuck it on in there. Don't worry about ice, but if you can keep your uh, liquor chilled, that's generally a bit better. You're also going to need any cider. I'm in New Zealand, so I am legally obligated to use uh, Old Moot. Rhymes with fruit because it has scrumpy in the name. Legally required. Add that up to halfway point, and that is the one half of the plasma grenade. So just pop that aside. The second half involves a shot glass. Uh, you don't have to have a skull one, but I do recommend uh, if you can get one of the wider brimmed ones rather than the, you know, those tall ones you can get, use the wider ones instead. It works a little bit better for what we're going to do next. You're going to add one ounce or about three quarters of the way up to your shot glass of blue curacao. For me, that's about one ounce because uh, this is actually a double shot glass. Um, but if you've got a single shot glass, one ounce, just fill it up about halfway. And then you're going to grab an overproof liquor of your choice. Uh, I have Buffalo Trace here because I'm a fancy bitch, which is about 45%, right? Uh, you can use Bacardi 151 as well, but ideally the higher the proof, the higher the ABV, the better, okay? So layer that over a spoon to the top. So we're using the blue curacao mostly for the uh, color because you know the plasma grenade has that very distinctive sort of tealy kind of greeny color. You can put some Midori in this as well if you want to get it absolutely on there. But personally, I like to make things that are a little bit less complicated from time to time, but we wouldn't want to make it too easy. So now we're going to introduce a little bit of danger to the equation in the form of lighting this bitch on fire. Right, you don't need a butane torch, but it does help. Unfortunately, because we are using a fully lit set, <laughs> it's lit, um, you're not gonna be able to see the flames particularly well until you get to the close up and we do our little cinnamon sprinkle. Should make it flare up a little bit. That is now on fire. Use a shot glass that you know is gonna be quite thick and quite durable, otherwise it might <laughs> explode. <laughs> so we're gonna remove this danger. It could attack at any time by dropping it into our cider glass. Whew. And that is why you use the tall glass so the drink goes up and not out. You don't want it to go out because you might get flaming bourbon all over your table. And that is the Plasma Grenade from Halo, a drink that is just as dangerous as the thing it's named after. Here's all of our patrons who help make these drinks happen. This one in particular goes out to the man behind the camera, Duncan Pacey, who is a patron of Experience Bar and, <laughs> and a big Halo fan. So thanks, Duncan. Cheers for the drink. I'm not going to finish that whole thing because we've got we've got so much more to do today. So if you're feeling like a really hard man, you're going to finish this off in one go, right? Uh, it's a bomb shot. If you've ever been to university or a student bar or anything like that, this will be familiar to you. But this drink is potent. Uh, it's not complicated. It's quite simple in reality. It's only four ingredients, but it is a really fun one to present. You don't actually technically need to do the flaming thing. It just felt a bit wrong to do something called a plasma grenade and not have it be at least a little bit dangerous. If you're not, you know, inclined towards that kind of daredevilry or you're just a little bit nervous about it, you don't have to lighter on fire. In fact, you don't even have to um, add the bourbon to the top. You can just mix it straight in if that's easier. And then just, But you still get the drop, you still get the boom, you still get the fun. Um, it's also a particularly good one to make for your friends if you've decided to go into a LAN game on Halo after all these years. God, life was easier back then. But anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for joining me. I've been Jack Stone. This has been Experience Bar, and that was the Plasma Grenade from Halo. Uh, if you've liked what you've seen here today, please do drop us a like. Keep up with us with a uh, subscribe. Um, or you can um, head over to our Reddit or our Discord or our Twitter or our Facebook. Uh, we've also got a TikTok now. So I hope to see you there. But until then, cheers.